Hello everyone. Our today's topic is place value. Units, tens, and hundreds. We will be learning about place value of digits in a number as units, tens, and hundreds using examples. As you have learned in grade one, place value is an important part of number system. It helps us represent all our numbers with just the digits. The value of a digit in a given number depends on its position or place in that number. In grade one, you learned about two values of digits, that is, units and tens. Today you will learn about three values of numbers, that is, unit, tens and hundreds. Let's take the example of wooden sticks to learn about these values. You already know that one wooden stick is one unit. Ten sticks are ten units. When we group together the ten sticks, say, to make a bundle, it becomes one ten. Now, the thing to learn here is, hundred sticks are hundred units, which will be equal to ten tens. If we make bundles of ten sticks, when there are hundred units or ten tens, they become one hundred. So, we combine ten bundles of tens and make a larger bundle of 100. Look, a woodworker has made smaller bundles of 10 wooden sticks each and some larger bundles of 100 sticks. Now, we will count these bundles and learn some numbers. One stick is equal to one unit, ten sticks is equal to one ten, hundred sticks is equal to ten tens, is equal to one hundred. Now, see we have two large bundles of sticks, each made of ten smaller bundles, that means we have total 20 tens of sticks which are equal to 2 hundreds. 30 tens mean 3 hundreds. 40 tens mean 4 hundreds. 50 tens mean 5 hundreds. 60 tens mean 6 hundreds. 70 tens mean 7 hundreds, 80 tens mean 8 hundreds, 90 tens mean 9 hundreds, and 100 tens mean 10 hundreds or 1000. Now that you have learnt about units, tens, and hundreds. Separately, let's see how we identify them in a number. Suppose 12 small bundles of sticks which are 12 tens and 7 separate sticks which is 7 units are placed on the floor. How many sticks are on the floor in total? We know 10 small bundles 
are equal to 100 so it means we have 100 sticks then the two leftover bundles make two tens and seven separate sticks make seven units let's add them all together 100 plus 20 plus 7 is equal to 127 so in total there are 127 sticks on the floor which we have read as 127 now as you know to read the place value of the digits in a number you have to start reading from the right side so in number 127 the first digit from right side that is 7 is the unit the digit next to it that is 2 is the 10 and the digit next to 10 that is 1 is the 100 so in number 127 there are 7 units 2 tens and 100 keeping the same rule in mind let's read value of digits in some other numbers in number 259 there are 9 units 5 sticks 5 tens 50 sticks and 2 hundreds 2 hundred sticks we read the number as 259 similarly in number 360 there is 0 unit no stick 6 tens 60 sticks and 3 hundreds 3 hundred sticks we read the number as 360 how many units tens and hundreds are there in number 683 3 units 8 tens and 6 hundreds we read the number as 683 how many units tens and hundreds are there in number 905 5 units 0 10 and 9 hundreds we read it as 905 we hope now you have learned about place value if some concepts are not clear then replay the video again and again still if you have some questions then ask your teacher